Hey, welcome to the All-Star Channel. I'm Glenn, and on today's fun project, we're going to diagnose a soft brake pedal on this van behind us. It's a Ford. Uh, basically, it's an 05 model. When you step on the brake, the, you know, the, you apply the brakes, and then the pedal just keeps kind of going towards the floor. It's what you call a soft pedal. And now what I want you to watch is my foot, or the pedal, is just continually sinking. Look at this. It's going all the way down. So you can see it's slowly going down. It's still going down, so it's going to the floor basically. Now I'm gonna release it, and you see all that travel. That's a lot of travel there. So when you pump it, it should just go down, what, an inch or so, and then stop. But in this case, it just continues to slowly bleed off pressure. All right, so you saw the symptom there, and uh, pedal's definitely sinking to the floor. So basically in a second, I'm gonna show you where that ABS pump is if you're not familiar, and uh, that way you'll have a direction to go to it. But there's two tubes down there. There's two pistons built into that pump on these Fords. And basically what I do is I'll take this five and a half inch piece of, you, can, you know, that's, that's a comfortable length. I'm gonna say it's a piece of uh, coat hanger and I just cut it off with some dikes and I put a little bend in it. I don't know if you can see it. There's a little bit of a bend. That way it can kind of slip in behind those brake lines. It's very difficult to, um, to get to because there's a fan shroud and all kinds of other stuff in the way. But anyway, you reach down in there, you put that in there into that tube, have somebody have a helper, an assistant, step on the brakes, and then you want to feel for movement. So if this thing comes out more than a quarter inch, and by the way, you can use a small screwdriver, uh, whatever you can get that's going to fit in there, a little rod. Um, basically, if you get more than a quarter inch, which is not much movement out, then you've got a problem. So that, that uh, pump is pretty much got a leaking seal in there and fluids getting past the seal and forcing it out. So if you get a quarter inch or less, you're fine. And there's two of them, so check them both. Now that's provided you don't have any external links, 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 leaks in the uh, hydraulic system and that all the air is bled out. So this has all the air has been bled out. In fact, it's just got new brakes all the way around. They were all shot, but there are no external leaks. You know, you've got that, that pedal that's sinking, right? And if you feel that it might be your master cylinder, the best way to do it is disconnect the two lines right here, get plugs, you know, just get some brass plugs or what have you, plug up both ports, make sure there's fluid in here, we're assuming it's been bled and everything. And once that's plugged up, go inside the vehicle, step on the pedal, and it should be hard as a rock. I mean, it shouldn't move at all. As long as your plugs aren't leaking, there should be no movement. If for some reason your pedal goes down, you're done right there. You need a new master cylinder. The seals in there, uh, they, can, they can crack or break and fluid's getting past it. So basically that could be a cause of your soft pedal. Now in our case, I've tested this, but I've also tested this ABS module down there. Now this black thing on top with the sticker, this piece here, that is your uh, module in this case. And there's a connector on the, I don't know if I can get it, but it's over here towards our right. Anyway, so that's where the ABS pump is. And that's what we needed to see. All right, I need to mention that on the end of those tubes where you're checking for that piston to come out, there's two little rubber dust caps. So you need to pop those off, take a small screwdriver and pop them off so that you can put your rod down in there and check it out. There's my helper right there. I got a, I got, I got a helper in there. All right, let's go down here now. And I'm gonna touch and try to film all this in one shot. Here we go. So the rod is in down here. Let me zoom in. Okay. All right, so what I'm doing is, here's, here's the rod here in this finger. Can you see that? I'm moving it back and forth. It's in inside the hole, and we're gonna hold it. I've got my thumb against the left side of my thumb here, while well, the right to you is against this brake line and I'm gonna have Haley press the brake and then we're gonna watch this 
Go ahead and step on the brake, Haley, and hold it. Let it go all the way down. Look how far out it's coming. I'm still holding it in the same spot because I don't want to, um, I want to mark it basically. So hopefully you can see that. Is it still going to the floor? No. Okay. Let off. Now it's returning back. That's way over a quarter inch. Okay. Let's do that one more time. Go ahead and step on the brake and hold pressure. It's still creeping. We can hear it actually. You can hear the spring. Sounds like a spring. All right, so I'm probably a good, still moving out. Mm -hmm. Still moving almost an inch, three quarters of an inch. Look where my thumb is. I haven't taken it off this rod yet. Now we're gonna let it off, let off. And it should go all the way back. There we go, right where we started. All right, so this little guy here can help you out a lot. So go ahead and, and check that out. This is gonna need a ABS pump and uh, they're expensive. So even on a used older vehicle, what are they new? If I don't know if you can get a new one, but probably like 800 bucks, a thousand, I'm not sure. Uh, used ones, you gotta search them online. There's the, uh, the code or the serial number, I guess you call it, that sticker on top. So you need to match that up to make sure it's compatible with your vehicle. So that's pretty important. Anyway, um, that's about it. So I hope this video helped you out if you're having a soft brake pedal, trying to diagnose it. Just be certain that you don't have any external leaks, you know, any leaking at all. Make sure that the brakes have been bled. That's like a tongue twister. And uh, you don't have any air in the system and hopefully you'll find your problem, get it fixed, and move on to the next headache. So thanks for stopping by. Please click that subscribe button if you haven't. Share, like, comment, all that good stuff down below, and I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy.